What's up guys, uh, this is Michael here. Uh, today in this video, we will talk about the running simulation. This will be the number two in the tutorial series for the SWOT output viewer. Um, in the, in the uh, tutorial number one, we are talking about how to open a SWOT project in the SWOT viewer. So after you open the SWOT project, the next you, uh, you will need to run the simulation be, uh, before you could view the result in the viewer. So to run a simulation in SWOT viewer, uh, first you need to open a project. So uh, as it showed in the tutorial one, you can open a project by clicking this open a, uh, SWOT project button here. Uh, so another option is if you has been opened a product before and uh, the recent opened product will uh, list in this list here, uh, what you can do is you select one of them and uh, the product will be open. So either way you can open your product. Uh, so as we shown before, so it support uh, the uh, QSWOT product, ArcSWOT product, and MW SWOT product. So you can use uh, open of the product tabs using in the SWOT viewer. So after you open the product, so you can see the, all the product content will list in this, we call it the product explorer window here. Basically it's a tree view showing all the content available uh, from that project. Um, in the beginning, you don't, uh, when, before you run the uh, simulation, you don't have all the results available. So in that product, you only can see all the, all the scenarios. Uh, like for my uh, product here, I, I'm uh, opening Axwell product and uh, in the first level in this tree view will be product and the next, if I select the product, I will show my um, uh, chat, uh, uh all the sub-basins, all the ratios. And uh, in the next level, I will have my default uh, scenario. So if you have more than one scenario, basically that's folders, right? So in the scenario folder, if you have more than one folders in that uh, scenarios folder, and uh, all the folder should have all the model input files, right? So all the folder, all the scenarios will list here. So right now, because I only have one scenario called default, so I only have one default list here. If I select default here, I will uh, the right view will change to uh, called uh, the scenario view. So basically in this scenario view, you can run the simulation and do other things. So in this uh, example, we just show how to run the simulation. So I, after I selected this uh, scenario and you can see on the right top here, you have a list first. Uh, here do, here give you all the different engine options that you can run. So you can see we have SWOT uh, 488 and uh, 445 and 622 and until the latest 664 version. So you can see select either uh, any of these versions to run the model. So that's the NG option. So uh, another option, uh, another one is not showing here is uh, uh, possibility is you can also add your own um, modified version of your SWOT to here. So I have created a model before to talking about that. If you want to add your own model into this list, please refer to that uh, uh, video. Um, after you select the engine, so you have another three options to run different, uh, to have the result in, in different time steps. So I can run daily, so the result will be in daily format. I can also run monthly, man, run yearly, right? So you can have different, uh, that's just to have the impact on the, the format of the, out, the output. So yeah, basically if you run daily, you will get a lot, a lot of uh, uh, outputs compared to yearly, right? Which is just a yearly summary result, right? So right now, if I uh, select the engine, SWOT 64 and right now I just run, probably run monthly. I just click my monthly. So you can see it started to run and all the running information will be showing in this um, 
uh, window on, on the bottom here you can see it's running different year uh, all the message will be updated automatically to show you uh, which year they are running and uh, give you some progress so uh, so you can see them so yeah uh, after you see that execution successfully completed so it means I have uh, the model result has been available has been created for the monthly results uh, after this complication uh, completion so you can see on the left the list here I have more uh, contents in the default one so you can see right now uh, after default I will have SWOT 64 and after this 64 that that's the information of my engine right if you had use other engine I will have other sections for different engine so basically I can run different engine for the same uh, scenario so for the same engine because I have three options daily monthly and yearly so for this example what we run here is monthly so we will got a monthly uh, option here so I have monthly uh, in this um, after this monthly I have all the detail results uh, based on different spatial units I have watershed I have HRU I have sub basin I have reach at difference at performance so basically after you have the successful run you will have all these sections uh, to be able to uh, look into the re different results so I will talk about this result in next tutorial but right now for the running simulation uh, we can see is um, very easy you can just uh, open the project and first uh, open the project and then select the engine you want to run and then select uh, uh, the result type you want to have like daily monthly and yearly and uh, use the different button so the model will run and generate the result so next i want to show you guys uh, uh, what what has been generated when you run the simulation uh, if you're familiar with the uh, uh, SWOT model, uh, you may know that when you run a SWOT model, uh, after you run the simulation, you will get uh, uh, a bunch of output files as showing here uh, in the scenario folder. So you can see there are a lot of uh, uh, files named with outputs, but using different uh, extension for different uh, 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 spatial units like for rich you will be have the output dot rth for rich and for the um, hru you will have output dot hru file for hru results basically you will have uh, a bunch of uh, result files but for the SWOT viewer because we want to uh, support um, and to support a different engine run on the same um, on the same uh, model so if we continue to use that SWOT uh, um, output files um, so after I run one engine so it will uh, overwrite the, the previous run by other engines so in that case I cannot compare the result from the different engine so uh, what we have done in SWOT Viewer to solve this problem is uh, we change the output format uh, from these multiple files to uh, just a single database. Um, what we have done here is for uh, each of the version, so like here we have 64, 64, 64 version, and for each of the uh, output same step, like I have daily, I have monthly and I have yearly so for this different combination I will uh, create one single database so everything every output you will be in that uh, database let's go back to the model we just ran in the example to see what has been generated after we run the simulation so here is the uh, model folder we use you can see export folder Let's uh, uh, go into the scenario folder, default folder, that's the, our default scenario, and go into the text in out folder, um, and start by the date time here. You can see I have uh, just the one uh, database file here called result 664 and monthly. So it means I use the engine called 
is 64 version and I run a monthly result, right? So it's from the file you can see identify this output. Um, so if I open that database file, so that's all the database file, you can see I have different tables. I have HRU table, I have rich table, I have uh, sub basin table, have different table. Basically, uh, all that uh, results previously in the uh, different uh, uh, files right now is in different tables. Um, so if we open some of the table, let's see, if we open the rich table, you can see uh, I have all the columns and all the lines here. So basically this is a copy of that uh, uh, output file from, um, from the output.rich file. So it's just in different formats. Uh, so that's what we got when you uh, run the simulation in the, uh, in the SWOT. So with that single database uh, output file, so we uh, we will have a different uh, advantage compared to the standard output files in the SWOT model. Uh, so first, uh, first the advantage is that uh, this approach can save time on converting to a database. So if you have been using some of the uh, the, uh, the SWOT tools to uh, to trying to read the results, you will be uh, using um, using this uh, window called SWOT output window. So basically this do is you want to check out uh, different uh, output files. So you can see output storage, output uh, sub basin, all these different uh, output files. And then you click this uh, import file to database button. So basically what they have done is they will read the data from the file uh, to a database. Actually it's a, a Microsoft Access database. And then from that database, you can do other post processing, or you can plotting, you can do a mapping, a lot of things. Um, but you can see, um, um, there is um, there is um, basically um, this will uh, spend you will spend more time to uh, do the post processing because you need to first run the model, generate the uh, the output file first, and then run to and to um, to convert to a database. But if you use SWOT Viewer, uh, the result will be just the database you want. You don't need to do the conversion using these two. So basically save your time to do that. Uh, if you're running a lot of simulations, I think uh, that saving may be uh, very important to you. And another one is um, with that approach, uh, basically it enables you to compare different engines from for the same model. Um, we have talked before, so if you use the uh, uh, traditional XWOT output files, because all the output file is using the uh, generic name, like output.rich, right? So it's not for the specific version. So if you run one version and then run another version, the second run will uh, override the first run. So uh, basically you cannot compare them. So if you want to compare them, uh, you need to copy that scenario to another one and run another different engine. So basically you uh, need to duplicate a lot of um, uh, same files, right? Because they are same, exactly the same model, right? But if you use the SWOT viewer approach, uh, that will be different, right? Because every output will be have the information of the version you run uh, and also is in a single database format. So in that way, um, and what you can do is you can run the uh, same model with a different engine. Either it's uh, the engine from the uh, SWOT team or some uh, customized engine you have created based on the SWOT model. So you can run them on, on the same model uh, in the same folder. After that run, we have tools in the SWOT view where you can compare them to see the difference. So it's very convenient to uh, to to use this function to do that. So in today this video we talk about how to run a simulation in SWOT Output Viewer after you open that project, and also talk about how uh, the uh, SWOT uh, output structure used in the SWOT Viewer. 
Um, so this is the number two uh, in the tutorial series for the SWOT uh, put output viewer software. Uh, in the coming days, I will post, uh, post other tutorial videos to, to see how you can, uh, after simulation, how you can check the result in the SWOT uh, output viewer. So if you like the video, please uh, feel free to subscribe the channel and uh, uh, like, click the like button um, below. Uh, be before we post uh, the new video, and I hope uh, you guys uh, stay warm and I will see you in next one.